Welcome to Black Tribe and Money Vibes, a Black Table podcast about all things events, entrepreneurship, ownership, work-life balance, love, wealth, and collaboration in the Black community. All right, ladies, let's do it. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh, I'm excited about this one because it's about standing out in the crowd, right? Mm-hmm. And I feel like, uh, honestly, when you're starting a business, this is so important because if you're stamping out the same thing that somebody else has, that's not really going to work for you. Mm -hmm. And I think sometimes, you know, I have a really interesting relationship with competition and I think, Mm -hmm. you know, there's a lot of synergy here, so we probably all do. So how did you guys, when you were starting your business, scope out the competition? How much attention did you pay to it? What was the vibe as far as like seeing what the scene was? So I think it's so interesting because when we started our company, we really didn't think about competition. We just said, that's beautiful. We're going to step out there. Mm -hmm. We're going to do us. And I think we were so just like immersed in us and our creativity and what we were going to do and how it was going to look and feel, Mm -hmm. blah, blah. Like we didn't actually think about anybody else. I think times have changed. So I don't know if that is what people should do Mm -hmm. right now. But like for us, we just we did a, a dive forward. We nice. just dived in, and we just saw what was unique to us because people would say like, "Oh wow, who are you guys?" Like they actually like started the conversation. And what made us realize that that was so important is because before we even started our co- um, company, um, John Sally, who it, he's playing the NBA, and he this literally one of, our mentors. one of our mentors, and he came up to us randomly Mm -hmm. and he just said to us like you know what like when people come up to you you know something about your energy Mm -hmm. your vibe Mm -hmm. so if that happens pay attention to it Mm -hmm. you don't always need to go up to people you don't he said no he actually told us never never he go up to to people people. he did he was like you make them come to you you. and we listened to him interesting and we we did listen to him for our first juicy few Mm -hmm. years in business Mm -hmm. i mean it kind of led through our whole business but he said like you don't have to go to people your energy will attract who you need to come to you i mean that's and so we're like right right we were baby 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 so we're like okay cool so we tried it and then we also had another mentor michael maddox he was in the fashion industry Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. he told us the same same exact thing thing. he said your energy you're gonna bottle that up and you're and people then that. will per, like buy your energy, mm-hmm. and so that was always a, a like a, a, a very like sh- like theme mm-hmm. in our business. And so yeah. first we didn't think about anybody else; we were thinking more so about us and what yeah. we're giving to people, how we're making them feel, mm-hmm. how we like to feel. Like, and I think the fact that we set the tone of we're happy, this feels good, this feels yeah. elevated, yeah. da da da. And that's at the yeah. tone for our whole vibe and energy. So competition, and it's there. There, there, there There's right. other people out there. Yeah. But if you focus on being your best self, I think that Ooh. takes you into another platform of then having to think about competition. Because yes. the yes. competition on certain levels is different. But you, I, I don't think that's the main focus. It's you doing Ooh. your best job and then go from there. I, I also think that we're kind of lucky because mm-hmm. we came up, I mean, you guys started your company, you know, 13 years ago. Mm-hmm. I started like seven, eight years ago. Mm-hmm. And so we didn't start our companies in like the social media age, right. yeah. which I think breeds a lot of competition, right? Yeah. So it right. kind of is like, I just kind of started blindly and my, you know, researching competition was Google. And mm-hmm. it was like, I don't really see anybody doing what I'm doing. Yeah. So it was a lot easier just yeah. to step in more confidently yeah. mm-hmm. to do what I was going to do because yeah. I wasn't getting updated every two seconds yes. about someone who's doing wow. something very, very similar, similar. to so what yeah. I was Good doing. Yes. And so I think that, had, and maybe Lauren can kind of speak to that more because mm-hmm. she started her business a little bit yeah. more recently. Like, it wasn't really like a confidence thing because yeah. I didn't really see anybody else doing what I yeah. was doing yeah. because yeah. I wasn't on social media, yeah. you know, mm. all the time. And there mm. wasn't a bunch of stuff that was like, you know, yeah. I wasn't connected. Social media to, wasn't a yes, thing right, like right. that. Like, yes, yeah. social media was out, but it wasn't mm. so saturated as right. it yeah. is right yeah. now. It changed the game. A it changed there. the game. Yeah. And so I would be interested to what Lauren had to say about mm-hmm. like yeah. people that are just starting out in the game and they see Pinterest yeah. blowing up. They see yeah. Instagram. Like, how do you find your way in that? Yeah. yeah. It's 
I'm sorry. Oh, that's, no, 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 no. That's, that's, it's really interesting to, to hear that it wasn't relevant because it is so relevant. Right, you know, right. Starting my business. Right. And it, I think, you know, we opened like two or three years ago. And so it's been really recent. And, and Instagram was already on fire. And I think um, in life in general, I always tried, I would rather win second place and be like the most creative and the most different than to be first place and be like the thing that everybody wants, right? Mm -hmm. So like to me, the, the differentiating factor was really important. And with Instagram, I mean, it kind of makes it easier. I, I wouldn't say for people that are listening that it makes it harder. It actually makes it easier because everybody's yeah. guts and balls are out there. Mm -hmm. right? yeah. So it's yeah. like, okay, well, you know what they do and yeah. you know how much that chair costs and mm -hmm. how much that event was mm -hmm. and how yeah. much that production was. So mm -hmm. it's like, it's, it's almost easier if you can really, really find your own energy and vibration in it, then it, then you know what not to do, which is yeah. what everyone else is, is doing. doing. So again, yeah. I would yeah. not take it as a um, as something that's bad. I would take it as something that's good. Like mm -hmm. everybody's mm -hmm. is showing their skin. Yeah. Um, and for us, you know, it was it was really just about personal aesthetic. You know, I'm an interior designer, so mm -hmm. I was like, well. I love all types of design. I don't need to be super luxury. I don't need to be super, you know, like California cool or whatever. I had this like kind of line of like European cool and, um, and that, and that really worked, but it was easy for me to do that. Cause I had, like a breadth of, of design yeah. background, mm -hmm. but like all you have to do is have something different. Yeah. Like, yeah. We had yeah. one chair that nobody had in the United mm -hmm. States. Mm -hmm. uh, so just a little bit of background to people that maybe don't know. Mm -hmm. It's a specialty rental company that does events. So we do, mm -hmm. we furnish and we design events essentially. And so I knew when I was sourcing and literally putting all my like life savings into this, that we needed one thing that was totally different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's all kind of all you need. Yeah. 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 I, yeah. I, I will honestly say that that was the one thing that stood out before I even knew you. Oh, really? Yeah. What was it? I'm not wanting to hear this. I mean, so we were doing like a beach event okay. with our partner, Maxie J, and she's in fashion. And so we were doing yes. bu building moguls and it was a beach event before all like all this, you know, social media stuff. It yes. was a few years ago. And so it's a yearly thing that we do. But when I did the research and I was like Googling and just trying to figure okay. out like, how can I make this different? You pop up. Oh, see? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you are. Yeah. And it was before the trend of everyone wanting yeah. the whole like picnic yes. beach vibe. Mm. Yeah. And I was like, oh shit. Like I like her mm. whole speech. Okay, good. And yeah. So, I so mean, go with your heart. Yeah. Go yeah. with your yeah. heart. But then I do yeah. think it's less important that you do what everybody else is doing and more important that you have one thing that is so, so different. different. Yeah. Right. Like give yeah. them a curveball. Yeah. 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 Because yeah. yeah. no one was doing it then. Yep. They caught up to you. Yeah. Yeah. The curveball was yep. that I was looking for what you had yeah. before anybody else was looking for what you had. And, and, and that's great when people catch up to what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. But that's, I think yeah. that's good that we need to probably repeat again. It's not reinventing a whole business model yeah. or doing like event planning is event planning right. but if yeah. you offer one thing that's different mm -hmm. or if you do something or if you offer one product that that's different yeah. that's yeah. going to make you stand out and then you can yeah. keep on booking the clients that you yeah. want to book right. yeah. and that's how you're standing out in the yeah. industry that's very crowded okay so in regards to um sourcing competition and looking at competition when we first started out so i have like this thing I mean, I don't believe in competition. So I think Oprah said, I might be quoting her completely wrong, but the, the gist of it is the moment that you, you're, you're driving, the moment that you take a look in the rear view mirror or you took, take a look at the side, like you're no longer focused mm. on like your mission yep. mm -hmm. and it slows you down. So I never looked at what other people were doing. I um, just totally focused like to Shanti's point on like what we were trying to accomplish. Yeah. Um, and of course, yeah, we're, we, we kind of knew like, oh, there were the Diane Valentines of the world, you know, mm -hmm. like we knew that those people existed, but we didn't view them as competition. We viewed them as people that we could look to for inspiration mm -hmm. yeah. um, and draw on. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. our focus was how do we, how do we do this to the best of our ability yeah. so that people yeah. continue to want to work yeah. with yeah. us? And that was just, the, that was the main focus. And yeah. again, this was before to Leslie's point before social media. Yeah. So yeah. before social media, people judged you based on word of mouth mm -hmm. and, and your yeah. 
your actual tangible your product or service, <laughs> yeah. right? Right. right? And so right. now, you know, people are judging you based on pictures that you're posting on social media. Yeah. And yeah. a lot of people are regurgitating the same look and the same feel. So it's, it's way, way different now. So I think that if you're going to be starting out in any industry now, to your point, you have to have that one thing, yeah. you know, that's going to make you stand out. Yes. Whereas before, I don't think you necessarily needed that. Mm -hmm. You just needed mm -hmm. to be great at what you did to make people feel great. Right. Yeah. And if you delivered a great product and a great service, they didn't, that's all that matters. They'll communicate right. that exactly. to their network. They'll yeah. yeah. And yeah. Then Referral. Repeat, yeah. repeat business. And then that's yeah. how you were able to scale and grow. Now you do have to have something that's wow. You know, like yeah. whatever that is. Mm -hmm. and yeah. We'll get, you know, we'll talk about that a little bit more, like different yeah. strategies on how to create that wow. But um, yeah, I, I didn't source competition. I love that. Yeah. I really love that. Just a little sidebar, and I know this is not like a part of our program, but I just want to ask the question too because you mentioned it. Like sometimes when you get out into the marketplace, mm -hmm. people will give you what's yes. different about you. Like mm -hmm. you were saying, right. you mm -hmm. didn't go in being like, linked arms we're the right sisters right. we're right. dressed like we're triplets like you didn't do that but people right. identified that mm -hmm. from you and i think like what what is some other experiences that you guys have had where you're like oh i didn't expect that to be a differentiating factor like sometimes mm -hmm. you need to read the room mm -hmm. and see like what people are vibing with that they see that you might not even see in yourself um okay so i would say that the thing about it is that's what most people told us before we knew so I really didn't look for too many other things that people were saying. I just felt like, what resonates with me? Mm -hmm. And the fact that people really kept saying, like, who are you guys? Like, what do you guys do? Mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. Like, I felt the need then to connect with people based off of, like, that. Okay. You know, it was, a, it, was a, it was a moment where I was just thinking, like, we don't know exactly what we're doing, but they're helping us. Yeah, mm -hmm. figure it out. Kind of figure it yeah. out. And we were very open, and we were being very like willing and fluid and yeah. listening, and it, we were engaging. It's a point of like research. Yes, so which speaks to showing up, just showing it, up. Yeah, and what yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And that is the most important thing mm -hmm. because like people come in and they have their own plans and their own agendas and what they're gonna do. That is great because you don't want to like go too far off the base of what you should be. Yeah. But because it aligned with like who we were, because we are sisters, it 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 gelled it yeah. together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where it was like, oh, they see us how we see us. So yeah. then now we're gonna give them what they are asking us to give them. Right. More information, more detail, yes. more like. Well, you I know. think that what they saw in us was trust. And trust. So mm -hmm. um, because we. Hmm like people saw how close we were and how we got mm. along really well and that we trusted each other yeah. and that we liked each other. Yeah. Yeah. Then they were able to say, you know what? I can trust those girls Yeah, and mm. I can, I can like those girls. They're likable. Mm -hmm. And, um, I think that's what helped us kind of stand apart because some, a lot of people, when you meet them, it takes a moment for you to kind of build that trust. You don't necessarily, yeah. you might not feel that right away. And so a lot, a lot of people would just automatically assume that, regardless if we were trustworthy yeah. or not, they mm -hmm. just assumed mm. they are sisters, they get along, yeah. they like each other, yeah. and, and they're, well, and they're we still get along. And we yeah, still get along, like right. Yeah, and, and so they were able to see that, oh, wow, like, you know, if someone's standing in the corner of the room, you know, watching the room and they're watching us, we're laughing, we're talking, we're vibing, yeah, you know, and yeah, we're, totally. sometimes we're in our own world, we're not even paying attention to what right. else is going on, yeah. and they're yeah. like, Who, those girls That's really attractive. like yeah. each other, yeah. you know? Yeah. And so it, it was that tr that barrier of trust was, um, mm -hmm. it's always been easy for us to like nice. get from people yeah. because we trust each other. So yeah. that energy emits yeah. out and yeah. it's, a, it's another unique identifying factor for us yeah. sisters because. Yeah. 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 And I would I, say, Leslie, like, I, I don't know. I mean, you're going to mm -hmm. tell me because I'm going to ask you right now. But, <laughs> but I feel like there's something about you, too, that people are just like, let me give this girl my high budget wedding and she's going to nail it. Yeah. What What was that for you and, and, and that experience? I think it. 
I mean, I think when it comes to weddings, that's the first big event that most people plan, right? Yeah. And so once you have a little bit of money, like you're doing other things, mm -hmm. but most times it's like your wedding is like the first high budget event yeah, that you're right. going to plan. Mm -hmm. And I think people just looked at me and they were like, similar to what you were saying, mm -hmm. like, I feel like I can trust this yeah. girl. Yeah. Like, and not just like trust her to manage the whole process, but trust her to the point yeah. where mm -hmm. if I have a question that might be embarrassing to a person who's yeah. like been in the industry for mm -hmm. 20 years right. and is yeah. like this, you know, right. guru, I may not feel comfortable asking them, mm -hmm. but they, yeah. I can ask her, what kind of flower is that? And right. why are we doing right. the, mm -hmm. the ceremony yeah. in this yeah. order? Yeah. And I'd be like, oh girl, that's this kind of flower. Exactly. Right. We're doing it this way because this is how, this All is right. tradition but you don't have to do it that way. Right. We can do it another way. And I think that that truly helped me because people mm -hmm. just kind of like knew they could let their guard down a little bit with me mm -hmm. because yes. it was just like, okay, she's young. She's kind of new to this too, mm -hmm. but I feel like I can trust her because I've seen all the other things yes. that she's produced. Yeah. So Your identifier is like fancy but acceptable. Yes. <laughs> I like that. Yes. 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 It's, it's very <laughs> Relatable. Yeah, but yeah. It's like it has this other twist to it where yeah. you're like, but what is that? So it's intriguing. So you want to know more yeah. about it. Yeah. But it's so relatable that you want to ask the questions because you feel comfortable. Oh, right, and that's right. the one thing that I like definitely saw from you from the gym. Yeah. Right. Yeah. For sure. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I, I mean, I think I get that. I think my clients feel that too. Yeah. Like, yeah. Those are like the responses that I've gotten. They were like, I've Googled on a bunch of other wedding planners in the area, and I just didn't know if I could come to, yeah. I didn't know if they were going to work with me, like, yeah. and listen to what I had to say, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. They had their style, they had their vision, and I thought they were going to force me into that. Yep. And I'm like, I'm going to make it that it's tasteful, yes. but I'm going to still make sure that your vision yes. and your, yes. you know, design, like, yes. shines through, right? Yes. So, yeah. I was yeah. going to have a wedding. You, you guys Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. All that love. Yeah. <laughs> so we're like, so basically we're, I think the common thing that we're saying is that even though there's a lot of competition out there, especially now yeah. in the marketplace, that if you're focusing on yourself and what mm -hmm. you're excellent yes. at and what your gifts are, yes. that helps you to stand apart from your competition. 100%. Okay, so we talked about competition, which is, you know, basically we've all said, eh, don't worry about it too much. <laughs> like, worry more about your lane. Yeah. But now let's talk about, like, where we actually, like, sat down, maybe smoked a bowl, analyzed ourselves <laughs> and our businesses. <laughs> it's legal in California. Yes. Um, and, and really thought about what is it that is going to make us different, mm -hmm. right? And I talked a little bit about, like, because I'm a product-based uh, business, some, some different inventory, which is like obviously key. I mean, I feel like if I had not had certain things that nobody else had, I would have failed miserably. Mm -hmm. and, and it's really interesting because you kind of don't know that going into it. You're mm -hmm. just like, I'm yeah. gonna make a collection. And you're right. like, okay, but that's $300,000 later. Like, bitch, what did you do? Okay, right, you right, know, right. Like, what, what did you pick? Like, it, right. did it pay off or not? Right. And the things that paid off were the things that nobody else had. Yeah. Right. So besides the actual like um, the products of it, mm -hmm. I feel like what I learned really quickly when I started networking and started like pitching my not pitching. I'd never pitch, but networking my business mm -hmm. was that um, people just wanted to be friends. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. And yeah. I was not prepared for that. Yeah. yeah. Because I came from, you know, like corporate interior design. I was designing hotels and it was like, why are we talking about your boyfriend right now? Like, right, you know, right, and it right. really threw me. I was like, I don't, but I love people. You guys know me. Yeah. I'm just yeah. like, yeah. yeah. everything, yeah. you know? Yeah. So like when it came down to it, even though the inventory, which was crucial to have a little bit different, it really came down to like, I like you. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. feel your vibe. And I trust you. Again, yeah. I, actually, this is kind of crazy because we didn't talk about thing. trust yeah. as being yeah. a big thing, but mm -hmm. it's like obviously yeah. becoming a theme here. Um, and so I, I, uh, that's, how, that's how I feel. I feel like it was the relationships, like back mm -hmm. to relationships again. I mean, mm -hmm. how did you guys feel? How did you, how did you differentiate yourself knowingly? And, and also, how did, you, how did you go through and say, these are the things that make me different? Because I feel like you can make a list. Right. You can mm -hmm. ask a friend. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. you can do different mm -hmm. things to be yeah. like, what makes me special? Right. Uh, okay, so I think that um, research is really important. Mm. But I think when people research, they're researching other people, other things. Mm -hmm. Like, but 
you also need to research what's happening in your like your world like what like when you go out when you're um networking when people are telling you things and i kind of already touched on this but like i feel like that is what you need to go back to and say like what happened what happened today what happened this week like how did my like current events or how do you or or like say for example like your business affairs for the week research like study yourself Mm. and what happened in your lane like study your oh, lane, yeah. study your energy, mm-hmm. study what you did, study what people like, didn't like, mm-hmm. and then kind of from there figure out what makes you stand out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think it was just a, it was just a little different for us, and I don't I, I don't know exactly why. Maybe it's just like because sometimes the sister thing or the family thing mm-hmm. doesn't work for everyone, so I can't say that. But for us, um, I. Th- at the time we were like it was so high energy Mm. we were just attracting a lot of that coming into us so at the time we were like what makes us different we're family we're family and that is so different and it's so and you're fly and you're fun force that on people but we did see that as something that made Mm -hmm. us different from everybody else and then to add another layer onto that we were very true to who we were so we grew up in san diego we were very like flip-flops chill beach vibes and i feel like being in la starting a company and doing something different at that time it set us apart because people recognized us for being just something different Mm -hmm. than the LA market. Mm -hmm. So we weren't like, you know, Mm -hmm. out here like, oh, LA, we came straight from San Diego and we were just like, okay, you know? So people loved that, they respected it, they they wanted more of it. And um, from there we just built on it and we built on the people that were um, attracted to us and what Mm -hmm. they liked. And then they started to refer us to other people. So we were just, like we're on the right track. We're yeah. on the right track. Let's keep yes. serving this. Let's keep doing this. And yes. so we kept true to that thing that I guess made us different. Okay. In the eyes of everybody else. Yeah. So I have a question just from a because I'm from a different industry. Like for us, like the style and aesthetic and all of it is is pretty much everything. Mm-hmm. With you guys, did you have a signature style? Did people come to you because they wanted this type of event? You know, like are you like the luxury girls? I, are you like I the cool know. girls? Are you no, the I like think it's a, brand? Girls? I think it's a. Feeling. A feeling. feeling. It's a for sure. Sure. vibe. Yeah, it's a feeling. Yeah. It's a vibe. What's like, the vibe? Like, <sighs> high energy. Um, you know, ask my clients. I don't know. Okay. I, 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 I can say for me, I know something that a lot of my clients have said to me that I didn't necessarily wasn't like going out branding myself yeah. as, but they were like, you are cool, calm, collective in any circumstance. Yeah. Yeah. And so for yeah. brides that are in wedding, that's huge, huge. right? Yes. Because yes. literally the building can be burning, burning down. Right. And I'm just like, like okay. girl, your makeup looks so good. You know? Yes. And it's genuine because I know that I have a plan A, B, C, yes. D, E, yes. F, yes. G, mm-hmm. right? And so I can be calm about it because I've yeah. already prepped for it. Right. And so I know initially when I was starting out, my clients were just like, you're so calm. Right. You're so cool. Yeah. And I was just yeah. like, yeah. It's a, yeah, exactly. And that's yeah. nothing that I would like sell myself mm-hmm. as, but that's something that I was just like, oh, okay. They recognize that's that. something that they recognize. Yeah. And that's something that like when other, when I start to engage with new mm-hmm. brides or new couples, yeah. they're just like, what do other couples say about you? What, are, what has mm-hmm. been your, and I'm like, People say that I'm calm, cool, mm-hmm. and collective. Yeah. And that's nothing that I would go out and start branding myself yeah. as. Right. But I re- Natural. naturally, that's something that has attracted couples yeah. yes. to me because on your wedding day, you don't want to be fucking flustered. Oh yeah. Yeah. And I've worked for planners that are just like, ooh. Yeah. 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 And I'm just like, uh, should I be crazy point. because you're crazy? Like, yeah. And it's no, just... And- that is such a, a unique good point. identifier about you, yeah. and I think we t- we I, I mentioned that um, yeah. that's what your like superpower is, you know, oh, like thanks. it really is. Because <laughs> yeah. I would try, like, if I were to ever get married, like I would trust you. Yes. So I so I think that when you're in this industry, and this industry is extremely crowded, especially now because because of social media, I think that now when you are working in this industry, that what's going to stand help you stand apart is you as a entrepreneur, as a producer, planner, owner of a company, 
you need to tell your personal story. Mm. Mm. And yeah. a lot of people don't do that because That's they're huge. only focused on the client. I never did that. But That's big. It, it's it's big. huge. Yeah. Because when you start to tell your personal story of how you started and the challenges you've gone through, the successes that you've had, yeah. there are people out there that now you're reaching yep. that are a new client base. That is they're, new they're not, they're, they may not be even ready to get married right now. Yep. Yeah. Or they may not be ready to throw a corporate yeah. event right now. Yeah. But they resonate they with your personal yes. story and they connect with you. So and then true. when they're ready for that product or that service, you're going to be top of mind. Yeah, they're going to remember so you. So I would, yeah. I would say that that is one of the things that, of course, you know, we didn't have to do that starting out because there was no, there wasn't social media like how it is now. Um, but I would, I would say that, you know, having, having some sort of public relations or some sort of marketing plan that helps you craft what your story is yeah. and, and being able to tell that. Yeah. So, you know, we started to do that. And we started to talk about, you know, how we started a family-based business and some of the challenges that came along with that and the successes that came along with that, the good and the bad. And that resonated with people. And it helped us, you know, kind of, you know, separate ourselves from, mm -hmm. th there's other sisters that do what we right. do. I've researched them, you know, like I don't look at them as competition. I look yeah. at them as, oh, like, yo, we could probably collaborate with them and be like 10 yeah. sisters all doing, you know what I mean? Like, what's the sisters? Do we like, can I Right <laughs> slash Jones slash my right. 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 Family freaking right. business. We're more powerful together. Yeah. Right. Right. We are more right. powerful right. together. Right. And I right. truly 100% believe in that. But um, I, I really think that that's important um, because a lot of people shy away from that because it's hard when you're a service provider or even a product based mm -hmm. business for you to talk about yourself. You know, mm -hmm. you're like focused on yeah. elevating the client, but now it's so crowded. You don't want to be I forgotten know. and you will be forgotten I yeah. hate because that. those, that <laughs> same balloon arch X, Y, Z person is doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Those same florals, yeah. those same curtains yeah. or their specialty linen X, Y, Z is doing yeah. it because now yeah. they can see it on social media and they can copy you. Yeah. So what is your story? Yeah. What can people emotionally attach to? Mm -hmm. And that's big. Yeah. That's big. Because when, like, cause it's so to your point, when it, they like yeah. you, right? When they yeah. like you, but the stranger down the street doesn't know if they like you yet. But I if know. they hear your story, they're like, damn. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. the whole thing yeah. to putting on social because I feel like I can do that all day in mm -hmm. person, which is yeah. why I like went yeah. hard in the paint four yeah. days a week networking. Mm -hmm. um, because I was like, as long as people can feel my energy, they're going to be interested. But like, uh, social That's media, true. I can't. I I'm trying so hard. We just yeah. talked about like hiring someone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. it's so bad. But you have that is something I think free and easy that mm -hmm. someone can do. Yeah. yeah. I just don't utilize it. Yeah. yeah. So, and that's I mean, the number one advice I give to like women that mm -hmm. like come to me and like, I want to start my business. I'm like, don't pay attention. Tell your story. Tell your story. Tell your story. Yeah. yeah. Because yeah, that's huge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because it's unique. That's yep. how you stand out in a crowded yeah. industry. Yep. Ooh, you tell your story. Right like, like, you, know, you know what I think it is? Is because like we could tell our story to our platform. And if we're not big like social media or people or whatever, like you do need to get people on your team that mm -hmm. could make sure your messaging is getting out to like the world yeah. mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. we could do it for our people but like what about the people we're not yeah. touching so like you know you can't really get down about like dang your people are saying this enough blah, blah blah going to solution mode yeah who do i need to talk to to get my story out there to get my messaging out there to show that i'm different and unique yeah. and like help like get help to like figure out your yeah. story because like we have our stories but there's people that put a different spin for on sure. our story to make for it better sure. so like i think that's the second step after you figure out yeah. your own shit for mm -hmm. sure get the other person yeah. the professional then mm -hmm. that can magnify yeah. you and expand you and like put you on different platforms yeah. that you're not even thinking about if you're yeah. not good at it hire it hire, hire it, it. Definitely. Yep. for sure yeah. for sure I, I think it's so worth the investment people wait a very long time to get a publicist or get someone like you know a brand manager or a marketing person on their team because mm -hmm. you know but that's that's the part where you make a little bit of money you should reinvest it back into your yep. business and that's yeah. an, an important part of you know expanding your reach outside of your own personal network your yeah. personal network is they're they're going to be your champions right they're yeah. going to be your word of mouth people sure. they're mm -hmm. going to bring business into you or or to your company but then outside of that network you know yeah. the the to what is it six six degrees of separation like right. to go beyond sure. that part you need a bigger reach and you need some you yeah. need people to see when they Google, 
You I know. know. I mean, you you've done it. Yeah. You just probably haven't. I ain't got time for that. <laughs> I know, I know, but you gotta make time, and that's the well, thing. Or hire someone. Or hire, hire somebody. Hire. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah. Hire yeah, you gotta. You, yeah. That's a twelve dollar just, an hour job. Like, yeah, you yeah. just yeah. You you delegate, delegate that. You have to. Yeah, yeah. yeah you delegate so, that. Yeah. So, so big. Like, why would we leave that up to us to do? We have so much other shit. Oh my to god. Do. So yeah. they don't want me to think about like yeah. how to get out there. How to get out there? Like, the part about it that you need to do is market yourself. And like yep. when you do have a unique identifier, it does it automatically for you. Yeah. But then you have to really put the money behind what you believe in and what other people believe in yeah. for you. And so like when you start putting that out there, yeah. you don't have to start with a huge budget, but you should put your feelers out there. Somewhere. It's not even that expensive. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Don't be intimidated by don't it. Don't be yeah. intimidated. Yeah. There are like, people that will do you it. You need marketing <laughs> budget. You mm-hmm. need like yeah. event budget. Yeah. You need like what you're doing for your clients, like that budget, yeah. gifts and blah, blah, blah. People like, writing thank you cards and Thank stuff, you, you know? cards. Exactly. That's stuff. Like you huge. need to do the part yeah. that's going to market you because that's part of marketing. It's like if you're doing things for your client, you're like, thank you for thinking of me too. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. You hired me. Thank you. And you're giving something to them. Yes. It's part of the whole marketing for them to then think about who you are and like, wow. For you know? sure. They yeah. resonate with me. And yeah. that's what you have to do is resonate with your partners and your mm-hmm. clients and like your family and your tribe and all that stuff where it's going to like eventually go downhill. And I think for us, um, you know, when, when we started our company like 13, 12 years ago, whatever it was, we still have those clients that champion for us. Uh, mm-hmm. And it so. makes such a big difference. Oh, it's because, huge. It's yeah, literally yeah, the yeah. difference between life and death in a pandemic. Yeah, yeah. 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 it is. Yeah. It's so yeah. true. Seriously. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's so is, true. Yeah. We've heard people say, like, you know, we checked you guys' resume. And, like, we didn't, you know, we were like, whoa. Like, what resume? All yeah. right. <laughs> so you, like, called the people. You did right. that. Right. Like, that was very interesting to us. But people really do do that. They check your resumes. Yeah. They check your work. They they Google you. They see what you're about. They talk to people about yeah. you. So it's just like that's the whole marketing thing in itself. So whoever you really are in whatever, you know, industry and, like, lane you want to be in, make sure that you're just ready for that. Because people are going to sure. classify you, basically. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. 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 And I feel like too, like on the, kind of in that vein, like when we're talking about like what we're attracted to, what we need to delegate, like how, what do you, when you're hiring, cause now, you know, we are all like owners and, and CEOs. It feels weird to say that, but we are. So it is, what it is. Um, like, what do you look for in hiring? Like, what do you, what, do, what to you when you're like, I've got 15 applicants, I want that one. Well, what do you look for, Miss Lauren? Hello. What's yeah. special? <laughs> so, so I have this is ter- like terrible advice because I mean it's not terrible, but I just all energy. Like I don't yeah. I don't ask for it. Yeah. They all come to me and mm-hmm. they are my babies and they know that like we yeah. are a family. True. Yeah. Like we do like go to bat for each other in real yeah. life. So. Um, I, I just, I feel like it's just, it's literally just energy. So I'm not a good person to ask. Like, no, I'm just like, no, no. Good. Cause like even my marketing girl, I'm like, she just like showed up at a networking event that I had, um, helped put on in design mm-hmm. and she, we were, you know, it was at the end of the night we're dancing and we're having drinks or whatever. She just like came up to me. She's like this bubbly girl. And she was like, hi, I'm Sarah. And I was like. And now she's my marketing person. She's been that for a year, you know? Like sometimes, I mean, so beautiful. oh my yeah. God, yeah. And she's, yeah. you know, not from here, from the middle of America and all of, and like, you know, if I were to be like, oh, looking at resumes, I'd be like, I don't know, whatever, I don't, whatever, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. But it was just like, she came by herself. She like yeah. bought the mm-hmm. ticket, like with her birthday money. And like, mm-hmm. came, she was hungry. Yes. Yeah. Hey, she was energetic saw, about it. I yes. saw yes. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So yeah. to me, it's so, I mean, I don't know how you teach that, but it's just an energy. Yeah. What about you guys? Uh, honestly, it's really the it, it's really it's kind yeah. of, it's kind of a vibe. Yeah. Yeah. It's a vibe. Yeah. It's yeah. Vibe. Yeah. Well, what that means, stay with your frequency and your vibe, and know your mm-hmm. frequency because that's gonna permeate when you're yeah. in that room with that yeah. person. I would yeah. say, looking at everyone that was that like have been or were super rock stars in in our company. Yeah. They were relentless in pursuing us. The relentless. Oh, y'all better they write were, that down. They Very were relentless. relentless. Like there, there was in 2014. David Dirks. Hey, David. Hi, David. David, <laughs> David emailed, texted, called. Oh wow. my God, poor soul. Every day. Wow. No. Like wow. I want to work for you guys. Work? I want to work. No. 
Because when he came on, away? no, 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 no. I, I mean, I was, we were literally just so busy. We were we were launching our first tour. We were just swamped, mm -hmm. and I was just like, "Who is this guy? I don't have time." You know, like because we were still mm -hmm. so Persistent. so. We were still working in the business, not on it. So we were still very active mm -hmm. in producing and like being the ones that are you know calling the vendors and you know our team wasn't that big yet so we were still working very much in the business so there wasn't a lot of time to like look at resumes and like and we had someone we had a young lady Milan who was helping us with that but it just wasn't at the top of mind and literally it just got to the point where I was like okay we got to we got to talk to this guy cuz he's like not Poor gonna thing. let up yeah. <laughs> yeah. and and he and he didn't let up and wow. he was such a blessing to us and he wow. you know he interned for us for a long time and then we then we hired him and then he moved to DC and he ended up starting his own company and Bless. he always he still oh, calls beautiful. us like oh my gosh you guys don't understand what you guys did for me that's like so sweet. but then it was another young lady Alicia Moore hey Alicia and Amalon no, but Milan, Milan was a different. Milan, Milan was like was our there. first. She was our first. Our but first. Milan was like a, the same thing, an energy thing. Yeah. She didn't really have to pursue it. She was it was immediate. Us. Like it she was, was like us. immediate. Yeah. yeah, she was but, like instant. Because, but David was someone that we, like, she came to an event was like, I want to work for them. Yeah. Alicia, same thing. Like, wow. I want to work, like, texted, emailed constantly. Wow. And I was like, this girl's not going to stop until we sit down mm -hmm. with her. And when we yeah. sat down with her, we were, I was like, Okay, she's a rock star, you know? Yeah, and, and you can identify those rock stars because they go off and then they start their own. And so Alicia had started exactly. her own company. Because they, or they just expanded yours. Or, yeah, yeah, no, but I'm just saying that we we provided them with those tools totally, that yeah. were necessary for them to branch out. Yes. And in this crowded marketplace, yes. get, yeah. we gave them the confidence yeah. to yes. branch out and yeah. go into this crowded marketplace to do yeah. their own thing. And so I think that when when we're looking for those rock star people, it's those people who are willing to go above yes. and beyond yes. that yes. are going to yes. show you, mm -hmm. like, look, if I'm dedicated this yeah. much time to, yeah. to telling you I want to work for you, yes. imagine, imagine what I'm going to do yes. when yeah. I do yeah. work for you. And, and you know? I just yeah. want to, I want to piggyback off of that because mm -hmm. like sometimes in your industry, you get a lot of that. It's, you know, mm -hmm. you can't really weed through it unless you could read the energy through the yeah. um, email, text, phone, whatever it is. And so, like, we did an internship program. Oh, nice. So, six months to a year. Okay. Where it was just like, you know what? We're a family-based business. Not all people might be able to resonate with us or understand what this yeah. is and feel like it's a whole different vibe. So, like, we had the whole internship program where we did six months to a year, depending on, like, the person. Yeah. And so I feel like that's where we got like our best, 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 best people right. from. Because they got mm -hmm. a chance to go through the yeah. events, the experiences, the culture yes. that we like were putting into place. And we're just like, you know, we did check-ins with them. And if and if you worked with us and we worked with you and it felt good, cool. If not, then you know, you yeah, know, all love, yeah. all yeah. love, we yeah. love you. Yeah. Um, but once we found like our team, even if they do their own endeavors and but they're always there because they, yeah. they, they they have the passion and drive to care enough about what you're doing because yeah. they went through, they see what mm -hmm. we do, yeah. and we always used to tell them like, you know, we could take your job. Yeah, don't yeah, let me yeah. move that. Right, don't right, let me right. do that I schedule. If you're going to do your job, what do I need that's you a for? Right. Yeah, I'm actually yeah, going to take your yeah, check, too. Yeah, and that's like yeah. what we used to tell them. Like, I mean, we're, if we take your job, we're taking the check. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's so the I, point in paying you? <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's an important thing, but that they understand that when it is your team and they start to really see, like, how you move, it's not even a big deal that you're saying that. They just understand that, like, you're out here doing your thing and you built this shit. So, like, yeah. we yeah. all need to be exactly. in that place, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, I think... Oh, no, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. No, no. No. Sorry. I think, like, speaking to your internship um, example, that's what I'm looking for. Like, I'm looking for yeah. people that are teachable. Yeah. Yes. Because, you know, in this... In, I feel like in in the world that we live in, everybody wants to come and they want to feel like they know everything, yeah. right? And if you know everything, then you don't need to come and work you for me. me. Like, yeah. just go do it on yeah. your own. Mm -hmm. But people that are teachable, and of course, I want to listen to your ideas. I want to listen to your advice and mm -hmm. those kind of things. But if you come to me and you're like, I already know how to do this, then you're not going to be able to mm -hmm. fit in the mode of what my what? business model yeah, right. is, right? Yep. So come teachable, that's what I'm looking for. Yes. yes. Like, number one energy, 
Secondly, are you teachable? Yeah. Yeah. And if you're teachable, then come along. And you could literally not know anything about events. Yeah. You could mm -hmm. literally never worked events. Like yeah. The only thing you've ever done was like oh, yeah. student council, like yeah. Yeah. prom party, yeah. like whatever. Like that's fine for me. Mm -hmm. Because if you're all in mm -hmm. and you're teachable, like yeah. come. Like yeah. I'll show you what to do. Yeah. Honestly, uh, look, I will tell you right now. So Carolyn, one of our like we love Carolyn. Yes. Carolyn. She has like grown in our company and she's like the lead in our company and Right Productions. And she's a, she is Right Productions, right? So like when we met her, she went so hard off the bat. And the thing is, because we were actually going hard for our clients, she didn't see like us at our like <laughs> vibrant self. She caught yeah. us in a moment. We were like, nah, we need this done. What's happening? Blah, 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 blah. And it didn't scare her. Yeah. And she came to us and she said, she was from Brooklyn. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know she, Carolyn was another special person. She was very Carolyn special. Carolyn is tapped is in. Special. She is. She's a special person. Like, um, I, I literally would think a thought. And th this, this was, this was wow. before she worked for us. We actually were her client at the hotel. Yeah. And yeah. I literally would think a thought and I would be like, where's Carolyn? And she would be standing Pop behind up. me exactly Ooh, with what I needed. And I'm nice. like, how are you doing like, that? Wow. And so when she communicated that she was going to be moving to L.A., I said, if you're ever going to move to L.A., you have a job. No, mm -hmm. I tried to steal her from you guys. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> she is going to run right production one day, okay? She's that special. Um, yeah. I mean, but, but, but I think that, again, if you want to stand apart. Yeah. yeah. If you want to stand apart from a hiring standpoint. Yeah. yeah. You have to be relentless. You have to yeah. have the right energy. Yeah. Passion. You have to be teachable. Yeah. You have to have the passion. And you gotta you gotta have this level of intuition yep. yeah. about the people that you really wanna work for. Yeah. Yeah. So you gotta study them. Yeah. You gotta watch them. Yes. She was studying me she and studied. watching me. She was like, yeah. Oh, she's about to ask me something. Yeah. She knew. She always knew Man, and it was freaky scary yeah, because crazy. she was watching me and I didn't even know that she'd be in a corner like, let me watch and see what's going and on. Years later, yeah. And I'm not the calm, the cool collective. Thing. I'm not the calm, yeah. cool collective. Like, what? <laughs> Hell no. I'm running around like, get this shit fucking done. Why isn't this up yet? <laughs> now, not to the client. No, of course But not. to the people that are working. Yeah. I'm like, what's yeah. going on? Right. She's yeah. more calm, cool, and no, collective. Yeah. Yeah. I'm the one that's like, okay, the event's starting in what? Yeah. Why isn't, like, in, yeah. Yeah. you know, you know, like, yeah. and, yeah. She was still but with it. people mm -hmm. that, like her, and that's why they're so important for your team, they make you say, <sighs> yes. Yeah. So, yeah. And that is money. Yeah. That that's literally right. is it, money it, to us. So we yeah. literally just it see is. dollar yeah. signs. Yeah. 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 And we're like, here's Thank them. you. Yeah. Yeah. Take them. Like, yeah. more, yeah. more, yeah. more, yeah. more, yeah. more. Yeah. Our I, team, like yeah. our team, because we have the internship program, once we solidified our team, because we're just so like, bam, 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 and they saw that in us, and they copied every single thing that yeah. we did. Teachable. Yeah. Then, yeah. yeah, teachable. So yeah. then they teachable. were like, y'all need to chill. We got, we got this. We got this. Yeah. And so one day we were like, let's see if they got it. They <laughs> had that it. That is a they beautiful moment yeah. as a business yeah. person. And yeah. then they did. We were just back off the cut. And right. we were just like, oh, shoot. Oh, we got Everything this. ran smooth. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No. And we didn't lift a finger. Oh, and my that God. is when you know that the people that you trusted. Yeah. Now, like, they trust you and they love what, what this is so yeah. much, the culture of it. Yeah. And you got to run with that shit. You really, 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 really yeah. gotta run. It's the best moment that could happen. Yeah. You know that's yeah. Andre for me. Oh, oh, Andre. We love Andre. <laughs> it's the most beautiful feeling because on a weekend when it's uh, sometimes we have like four events and I'm sleeping in my bed, I'm sleeping in, I'm having champagne, I'm having brunch. And the day that I didn't have to worry about the four events that were happening because I knew yeah. I was on it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's everything. That is. Yes. Yes. That's why you go okay. into business for yourself. Yeah. Right. Yep. Exactly. Yep. And that's, that's what and we wait people, for. Having people on your team that are like that helps you stand apart from the competition. It does. Oh my gosh. It helps yes. you. It helps yes. you. Yes. To, to, it. to pull it all back in, right? Yeah. yeah. Having people on your team that are like that. So yes. what we look for as business owner, business owners is is hiring people that are like that, yes. mm -hmm. that help us stand apart yep. from our competition, that helps yeah. us stand out within this noisy yes. marketplace. Yes. And mm -hmm. 
and it's so important Ooh. because you can't do everything on your own. Yeah. Yeah. They're an you need, an extension. Extension. Like, you yeah, need you a tribe. Like you need your tribe. Try to yeah. move when the you same. have the yeah. right tribe. Yeah. Yeah. When you have the right tribe, man, they will help you stand out. And you're yeah. like, whoa, okay, I don't mm -hmm. have to work this hard at yeah. making myself stand yeah. apart from my competition. Right. Yeah. Or right. in this industry yeah. where everyone is an event planner. Uh -huh. yeah. Everyone yeah. produces yeah. events. Yeah. Everyone does weddings. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I did my best friend's wedding, so now I'm a wedding planner. No, yeah. you aren't. Oh, right. Okay. You, <laughs> you are in it. But yes. you did good. You know, yes. real. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, I, mean, but, I mean, but what I'm saying is, You could be that. Yes. Yeah. You could be that. I'm yeah. not trying to knock anybody or, or their dreams. No, 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 no. But yeah. but I think that there's a different level in when you yeah. are. Can I plan a wedding? Yes, because I know how to plan events. Yes. Am I a wedding planner? No, I am not. Yeah. Leslie yeah. knows how. Quintessential. Yes. Quintessential. Yes. I mean, and her team is. Yes. Even when Leslie moves yeah. in, in, away from that. Like if she decided I'm never going to do events again, I'm yes. still going to hire Leslie Marie events because yes. I know her team yes. is going to treat brides with a certain level. And, sorry. <laughs> Well, you know, what about the bride that day? What about the bride that day? But if there's two grooms, yeah, there's two grooms. But the, the wedding party, yeah. Yeah, yeah. the wedding party, yeah. Yeah. I know her team is going to be an yeah. extension of her, mm -hmm. and she's already in the short, in the short amount of time, I've already seen where she is different from yeah. every other exactly. wedding planner or her company is, you know? And so that DNA has already, it's already, solidified and so it's just like you don't I wouldn't want to go anywhere else and I'm not saying this because we know you and like we're friends and we're on a right. podcast together like yeah. I'm yeah. literally saying yeah. this genuinely yeah. like yeah. For sure. I see why your engagement is high on social media I see why people repost you and want to like support you because you can yeah. feel that authenticity mm -hmm. and that yep. and it makes you feel comfortable like yeah. I would yeah. totally 100% be like here do my wedding and I wouldn't ask any questions I'm dead serious y'all don't believe me but I would <laughs> Because it's just, it's just, it is, it is. Yeah. It's the trust thing, yeah. you know? And yeah. I would trust her team the same way. Yeah, so, for sure. Yeah. yeah. The it's hiring part, part is a yeah. big it's part. It's huge. Of, it's an extension of you. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Who it you is. hire, because I knew that yeah. from Andre, and I know that from your team, and I know that from our team. And they, yeah. like, your team needs to digest who, the, the, yeah. the company culture, not even yes. you, but the company, company culture. culture. Yeah. What yeah. is that? What are we doing? It's not about telling you what to do, but yeah. what do you see yep. the company All those doing? things can yeah. be teachable. Are we great? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are we great? Are you going to let that trash be yeah. there? Right. Yeah. Are yeah. you going to let mm -hmm. this? That are you going to not book a mm -hmm. calendar? Are you not going to answer a call? Like, right. so everybody has to be great on the team. It doesn't, it won't work. No. It won't yeah. work because really everybody's wrong. not great. Mm -mm. Yeah. And so I think, you know what I mean, when you're thinking about that and you're thinking about your team and you're figuring that shit all out, make sure it just flows. Yeah. And then market the hell out of it. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't, yeah. I, I think that it's, it's uh, all this is great internally, but we have to make noise in this industry too. Like, we have to market. Set a budget to do it. You have to. Yeah. We did not do it because, again, we did not have yeah, to. It was we? word of mouth. And mm -hmm. this, in this day and time, to. You have to. It would have benefited us then. It just wasn't necessary for success, yes. but now right. it's becoming an integral it's, part of yeah. the Yeah, right. you have to. Yes, yes. yes. it yeah. is. It's so, 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 mm -hmm. so. Make so. it happen. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, this is juicy. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> if y'all want to, you know what I mean, submit your resume. <laughs> 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 Even I'm in the pandemic, cool, we are hiring. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, for sure, for know. sure. Like, yes. We feel Definitely. like you're, yeah. you're in our energy level, if you're on our frequency, hit us up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great one. Yes. Okay. Thank y'all. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for joining us this week on Black Tribe and Money Vibes. You can follow us on social media at the Black Table underscore and check out our website, theblacktable.co. If you love the show, please give us a rating on iTunes so we can continue to give you episodes you love. Thanks for listening and see you next time.